Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to teach you all of you guys how to create global announcements in Roblox Studio using their new text chat service, okay? So if you don't know what global announcements are, basically what they are is that, uh, let's say like a developer wants to give an announcement to every single uh, player in every single server, they create a global announcement and that message will display on your screen uh, to every single player's screen uh, in every single server. So that is what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create today. It's only 3 scripts total, only about 50 lines total of code, so it's actually pretty easy. And yeah, so uh, let's get into it, okay? So first we're gonna want to start off in, in replicated storage by creating a remote event, and we're gonna call this uh, we're gonna call this uh, create announcement. Okay, we're just gonna do just to create announcement. This is the way. So uh, let's say the server intercepts an announcement, it will send that off to the client so they can uh, display it to the uh, to the player. So now what next thing you want to do is you're gonna put a script in server script servers, and we're gonna call this um, announcement handler. Okay, just like that. And uh, so first we're going to do local whitelist equals to a table, okay? And this table, what will it do? It will, it will create uh, this table. I talk too fast. This is probably why I'm tripping on my words, okay? Let me slow down. So this table will create, will uh, contain all of the user IDs of the players who can create announcements, okay? So let me just quickly uh, go to the website and just copy my uh, user ID real quick and just put it back in here. So uh, my user ID is here, so that means I will be allowed to create announcements, okay? And now we're going to, the next line we're going to do local messaging service. And uh, let's make this a bit bigger so you guys can see. And let's go, okay? Service equals to game, get service, oh my god, okay, get service, messaging service, okay, just like that. So messaging service is the way that uh, we will be able to communicate with every single server and publish it everywhere, okay? So next we're going to do game.players.playeradded connect function and then we're going to do player just like this so next what we're going to want to do is we're going to do if table.find whitelist so if the table and then uh, player.user id so let, so this is saying that uh, if inside the whitelist table the player user id is found then we can go on to do player.chatted connect function which will listen if the player uh, is making an announcement so we'll do message just like this so uh, now when the player types something we'll do if stream dot find message and then dot announce just like this with a space okay you'll uh, you'll see why later so basically uh, dot announce basically this will be like your command for the player to say something so it'll be so the player would do something like this so uh, example would be dot announce right and then this is my announcement something like this this is this is what like the message format would look Okay, so if should not find message um, dot announce, if it finds that, then we're gonna do local actual message equals to string dot g sub message dot announce with the space. So what we're basically doing is that when the player types in dot announce, they naturally put a space before they put their message. So we're also gonna take out that space as well. So that means that uh, the actual message, and then we're also uh, with the G sub, we also want to do this. So basically, it will just replace dot announce with nothing. So that means that uh, let's say you have this message dot announce this, it will just completely take away this, and we'll use this as the message. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do messaging service, publish a sync, and then we're going to do global announcement. This will be our talk topic. Okay. The the topic is like it's kind of like your own messaging service channel. And uh, all global announcements will run through the global announcement channel. Okay, comma. And now this is the message that we're going to be sending, and this is going to be player dot name. Okay, so we can see who sent the message. Dot dot. And you're going to create like a string separator. So uh, it's kind of like you're like coding it in such a way so that uh, when uh, when the message is intercepted, uh, the game can sort through the player name and the actual message. So we're going to do player name, we're going to do something that no one would type in an actual message. So I'm just going to put string separator just like this, because no one's going to type this in their message, okay? String separator, just like this, and then we're going to do dot dot actual message. So. When the, uh, when, the, uh, when the message is intercepted, it will just do a string dot split with the string separator and we'll do player dot name so you have player dot name and then you have the actual message, okay? Now we're going to do message in the service, subscriber sync, so this is when it receives the message, okay? And uh, we're going to do a global announcement, so it's the same channel, so if it receives the message, and we're going to do a comma, function, just like this, okay? 
and this is all we're gonna put a message here because that's the message we're receiving so first we're gonna do a um, local split message so because we're splitting it up equals to string dot split message dot data because uh because okay uh, message our data because uh, in the global announcement uh, the message is actually in the data thing and then we're gonna uh, put string separator here just like that so basically so and then we're gonna do a uh, local player name equals to split message one and then a uh, local message equals to split message two okay so what this basically means is that uh, so since you're splitting into two parts, or since uh, so you have the player name and you have actual message. So uh, player name is the first part, and the message is the second part, just like that. Okay. And then the last part of this service group will be game replicate storage dot create an announcement. Fire all clients, so it will fire every single client. Player name, comma message. Oh, not messaging service. Message, just like this. And now we can uh, move on to the client part of it okay so, so first obviously we're gonna create a UI for this so it can like show up on the top of the player screen so let's create a screen UI let's just call this announcement let's adjust the properties so uh, you have uh, ignore guild set to true and reset on spawn to false okay let's create a frame here we'll align this right here mm, okay uh, let, let's uh, let's uh, convert it to scale size. So let's make like the size, like let's make it like 50% on the y-axis and like a uh, tenth on the on the no 50% on the x-axis and like a 10% on the y-axis. So just something like this. What the hell did I do? It's supposed to be 0 0.1. Okay, yeah, that works. That works. Okay. So size will be 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0, and then position. Uh, let's just do a uh, 0 0.1 comma no, let's go 0. Point, because it's, uh, 0 0.25 comma 0 comma uh, 0 0.05 comma 0. Let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And also let's uh, create a, vertic a horizontal anchor point of 0 0.5 comma 0 and then we'll also change the position to 0 0.5. 0, uh, 0 0.05 comma 0 comma 0 0.05 comma 0. So it will stay like that. Okay. So now that we have our frame, uh, let's just like make it un look a bit nicer. I'll just make this like, mm, actually I'll just keep it white. You guys can uh, make this nicer at your own discretion. Okay, now let's create a text label over here. This will be uh, the announcer for the message. So uh, let's, uh, this text label, let's make the size 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 comma 0. Okay, uh, text scale to true. And then we'll just do a uh, global announcement from at, and then we'll just do player as a placeholder. Okay, just like this. And then let's duplicate this text label. And let's put it all the way down. A bit space, and then this will be the message content. Okay. And then we're gonna name this text label. This one we're gonna type the content, and then we're gonna call uh, the other text label creator, just like that. And then one more thing we have to do is we have to put a text button in here. Okay, a text button. Let's make it. Uh, let's so let's do 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. No, okay. And then let's. Hmm, let's how about we make it 36? Come on, bro. 36. That works. And we'll just like put it in the top corner over here, and we'll add a UI aspect ratio constraint so it stays like that. Yep, aspect ratio, perfect. And now this button uh, is just going to be the uh, close button. So uh, let's make the text uh, text scaled, and then just put just an X here, and then background color three can be red. Okay. I know it doesn't look good, but you guys can change it because. Yeah, just you just make it look nicer on your part. This obviously looks like trash. Okay, so now we have this. This frame uh, can be set visible to false, and uh, let's start with the uh, receiving part of the global announcement. Okay, so let's just call this announcement client, just like that. And now we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, 
local original position because uh, this thing will have an animation we're going to do local original position of the frame equals to script dot parent dot frame dot position okay that's going to be the original position of the frame then we're going to do game dot application storage dot create announcement dot on client event connect function creator comma message okay just like that now we're going to do um and now uh, let's also create actually I can just make make this easier local frame equals to script dot parent dot frame and then we could just make original position equals to frame dot position that makes it easier okay so next what we want to do is we're going to do frame dot position equals to udm2 dot new script uh, so we're gonna make the position. So let's see what the current frame position is. We're gonna do. Uh, so this is the current uh, position: 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.05. So we're gonna uh, just like uh, put it all the way up. So uh, let's see. We're just gonna do 0 0.5 comma 0 comma negative 1 comma 0. Okay. So it's like all the way up on this screen, so no one can see. So we can so we can have an animation, have it glide down. Okay. So we're gonna do frame dot uh, frame dot creator dot text equals to global announcement from at and then dot dot player name no uh no at, dot dot creator and then frame dot content dot text equals to the message okay just like this and then we're just gonna do frame dot visible you can also guys also have it uh play a sound when this comes and then we'll just do frame dot frame dot visible equals to true just like this and we're gonna do frame tween position no not tween size tween position just like this tween position <clears throat> uh so uh, we're gonna do original position enum dot easing direction dot linear Using, no, that in oh yeah, and then enum that using style that linear, and then time let's do do uh, 0 0.3 seconds, and then override will be true just like this, and then also we're gonna want to uh, have this message display in chat, so we're gonna do local message equals to global announcement. We'll just do something like this. Global announcement at dot dot creator said the creator said and the dot dot message that will so that will be the message that we're gonna put so we're gonna do game dot text chat service dot text channels dot rbx general display system message message okay and that will display it in the chat okay now one more script and we are done okay so we're gonna go to this text button so we can actually like close the thing okay so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna add a local script and we're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent tween position Let's create the end position of the same one that uh, we put here, which is 0 0.5 comma 0 comma. So UDIM2 dot new 0 0.5 comma 0 comma negative 1 comma 0, just like that. Then we're gonna do enum dot easing direction uh, dot in. We'll just do that, and then enum dot easing style dot linear. Time will be 0 0.3. Override will be true. And then we're gonna do task dot wait 0.3. And then script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals to false, and that will get rid of the frame. And now let's test if it works. Uh, also, you guys, you need no services for this, so it will just work by its. Okay, guys, one more thing before I test. I just realized that uh, you had to uh, publish the game before uh, this messaging system would work. So just let's just do uh, uh, publish to Roblox. I'll just create this as a game. I'll just do uh, global announcements. Okay, yeah, that's why I was testing it, it wasn't working, so uh, as soon as you publish, it should work, okay? So let me press play. Okay, so let's just do dot announce. Hello, let's see if it works.
as you can see, as soon as I don't announce hello, it instantly came, so it said it in chat. It came here, and now if you press X, it will go away. And like, let's say I do announce wrong, nothing's gonna show up, but let's do slash announce. This is a message. As you can see, it will work every single time. So, yeah, that's pretty much the, the gist of it. A uh, free model will be in the description for you guys if you want to take it. But, uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So that's for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye!